Oh, hey there. I didn't realize you wanted an explanation. Uh, here's the explanation for the, the trick that I've posted previous. Here's what you need to do. You need a deck of cards, just like this one. And you need a setup on the deck of cards. That's, that's what you're going to need. This is a variation of that classic old trick that I'm sure everyone has seen and done. And whenever somebody's uh, handed a deck of cards, they go, I got a trick for you. I'm going to put these two cards in the middle and see, look, now I found them, that, that old thing. I've always loved that trick, but I've always hated the trick. So here's kind of how I uh, added to it. So you get a six and a four and a six and a four. So you're going to get a black six of clubs, a black six of spades, a uh, four of spades, a black six of spades, and a black four of clubs. Just like that. You're going to reverse them. You see what I mean here? Because if you did it like this, it'd be a little bit obvious. People might have a little bit more of a, a better memory if you use the same suits. But you're going to switch the suits here. And that's going to cause more confusion um, as to the actual method here. Because you're using the, the mate's principle here. The fact that the cards look similar enough, people aren't really going to... Uh, sit and look and be like, oh, wait a second, that wasn't the right card. And you're going to do it a couple different times here, so it's going to be it's going to be hot. Uh, so you get these cards and you put it on top of the deck, a six of four, a six of four. It really works with any cards, uh, honestly. It, it, you could use any cards uh, that are similar. And you're also going to need the four aces, right? Because uh, we all know that we have very little tricks that end with the four aces as a surprise revelation. So you have the four aces on top and then you have this set up on top. And then that goes inside of your pocket. And then you go up to someone and you say, hey, hey, do you want to see a card trick? No? Ah, uh, shit. Um, oh, this is awkward. Really? Why not? Oh, you don't like card tricks? You don't like magicians? I'm standing weird? I'm short? You're, oh, you know what? You're going to sit through this and you're going to watch it. And at this point, you do whatever false shuffle you want. I like to just swing cut into my left hand. I swing cut again. I keep a break. I switch these two packets and then I swivel cut. Or if I just want to keep it, uh, keep it normal, I do a little bit of a double undercut meme, right? Which is a nice false shuffle and everything is still exactly where you left it. Uh, oh man, I really got to get that, uh, got to get that checked. So now what you do is that you're going to show the six and the four, make a joke about your height ha, and how you're six, four. You're going to take these two cards and say, oh, so a black six and a black four. If you say the six of spades and the four of clubs, that's going to be a little bit um, retarded. So you want to say a six and a four. And what you're going to do is that you're going to take and cut the deck right here, anywhere in the middle. You're going to put these two cards and you're going to press down on these cards just like this. So you get a break right above wherever the cards are. You see that? By pressing down, uh, not only are you facilitating the action of the break, but it's, it becomes pretty much self-working because all you're doing is pressing down. That pushes this block up so that your little pinky could go in there and that's uh, that you're ready. So now at this point, the cards are lost in the middle of the deck, supposedly. You do whatever magic move you want, whatever little move. And guess what? You show that the black six and the black four have come to the top. You know, I put them and I press them by putting them in the middle. And now they've come to the front of the bus. Um, again, not calling attention to the specific suits of the cards because then that's that's the method so you say oh i know what you're thinking can you do that again and yes i can of course i could do that again i could do a lot of things again um so what you're going to do is that you're going to take this pinky break and you're going to transfer it over to a thumb break a massive thumb break and the way you do that is by just putting pressure with the ring finger and the pinky finger just like this and lifting up that allows your thumb to get in there and you're going to do a charlie ear cut so that, guess what, is going to put these two cards right where they need to be because now you have the original six and a four back on top ready to be shown again. So again, you Charlie or cut these cards in the middle. You do the exact same procedure as before. You get the break, right? Remember, you get your little break. You riffle. You do whatever magic move you want. And you show the six and the four to have come to the top for the second time. This is the second phase. Now... You're going to be as fair as possible here. You're going to take the six. You're going to take the four. You're going to score these up on top of the deck. You're going to cut that right into your break and be very fair and say, look, I'll do it one more time. One last time. See if you could catch me. Did you catch me? Well, that's too late because I already did it. You, you see that? So now what you've done in that last phase is that you've brought your stack back on top. Oh, boy, you're clever. So you have the six and the four and the four cards directly underneath are the aces ready to be produced 
by the Louis Simonoff flip and move here. So the way we do that is that we show the six and a four, and then we say they come right to the top, and we're going to eyeball four cards just like that. Because when we square up the deck, again, your friend in mind, the little pinky, is going to go in there. The little pinky. Can you guys see the pinky there? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The little pinky is over there inside, inside holding the cards up. And that's, uh, that's going to be directly underneath the six and the four. And at this point, you're going to address the fact that most people know exactly how this trick is done. You say, ah, you know, most people think that I'm using uh, different cards, right, to bring it to the top of the deck. And here, you're going to do the, uh, you're going to say, yeah, you'd be right, as you do the Louis Simonoff flip and move, which I, um, I show here. I think it's here. I don't know how the fuck this video is going to be. It's going to be on one of the corners. So you, you guys click on that, and it's going to be there. It's going to be taught on one of those corners. But you're going to do the Louis Simonoff flip and move to show the change from the six and the four to the aces. So uh, just uh, briefly here, you're getting a break. As you drop your hand, the cards are naturally going to flip because a little gust of air is going to go underneath those cards. So those cards are just going to naturally flip, and then you could show the aces. Of course, if you just did that by itself, it's not going to look nice. So you got to do the uh, Greg Wilson touch of snapping in front as it happens to kind of... Uh, Accent, accentuate, um, to kind of add to the uh, color change. If you want, you could do a different color change here uh, that I first saw as the blow change. I know this is a little bit, oh boy, a little bit uh, racy here. But what you're going to do is that you're going to bring these cards up to your lips and blow. Now, as you blow, what's going to happen is that this larger motion of you bringing the cards up to your lips is going to cover the smaller motion of you flipping the cards over. So you do this in that sort of action. You're going to blow the cards so when they come back down, they see that now there's an ace, and now there's another ace, and now there's another ace, and another ace, and that the cards have changed to the, uh, to the aces. The way that looks in concert is that you say, oh, people think that I'm using uh, different cards, and I am. Uh, see, because if I blow on this one, it actually, um, they, uh, they show their true selves, uh, the, the, the four aces. And then from here, you can get into whatever ace trick you want. You could do the... Uh, the ace trick where you show the aces and then you drop it and you go, look, 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 pinky, the pink, oh, fuck, that hurt. So that's the trick. Uh, that's the trick. I hope you guys enjoy it. You practiced it. Um, you make sure that you show your friends and family, especially the, the cunts that think they know that original trick with the um, similar mates. Uh, you, you show them and you twist it with the aces. You do your, you know, you're going to be walking around in the subway doing this, practicing your little your uh, Louis Simonoff flip and move, RIP. Oh boy, I'm gonna go figure out uh, different ways to hide a stool from the background of videos so people don't call me out on my height. Uh, I'm gonna go.